Hi everybody! The Black Boss has been released onto the Wave platform about a month ago and I have been experimenting with it since. Uh, in short, it does work but you need to be careful. So, the purpose of the Black Boss is to add more liquidity to the Waze platform to get people who use the Waze platform to regularly buy and sell their assets so so there's more activity uh, on the Waze platform and it becomes more attractive so the people who built this bot are actually a part of the Waves team so the Waves platform is actually encouraging people to use bots on their platform so the the primary purpose of this bot is to add more liquidity to the platform. So it's not a large money making bot. It's definitely not the best bot out there. Okay. So uh, I so I I wouldn't say just plug this in and let it give it a go. You do kind of need to manage it every day. But uh, it is easy enough to get, say, a 2% profit. And I, and I believe that people do need to make a profit when using this bot. Otherwise, we keep uh, spe spending transaction fees, you know, losing our, you know, losing our waves as slowly, slowly as time goes by. So I, I, so I, I, really, I really want people to make at least a 2% profit using this because you can't make a 2% profit so as this explains basically what it does is that uh, it sells your asset at a certain price through a grid system then when it sells it buys back when it buys it sells back it goes boom 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 so it doesn't explain it very well in the article um, but it works better for assets that trend sideways as in so the price is going up and down up and down but doesn't actually change its direction uh, because if an asset is going up very fast and you're using the black bot when you sell it uh, you don't buy it back and you end up losing your assets um, similarly that if it's going down and you buy the asset um, it won't sell and you're holding uh, an asset that's falling but the latter is not much of a problem because if you're holding a falling asset and you like the asset anyway and you think it's long-term potential then it's not really a problem I guess but anyway so gonna slip into more detail how to use the bot uh, you can find it here on github forward slash pyways forward slash black bot I'll leave the link in the description here what you need uh, you need to run python so people don't know how to use python um learn how to use python and to learn to use the command line i'm using this on a linux computer so it's good for me uh, i'm kind of used to this kind of stuff for windows people i think some people have been getting a bit of a problem with it because most people are obviously and they're not used to using uh, Python scripts and they're not used to um, command line, but I am. So after you install Python on the Python package on your computer, you need to Google up for whatever the hell the computer you're using. If you're a, a Linux user, it's super easy. You install the PyWaves package by typing that in the command line. And you either use that or that, depending which version of Python you had. I had Python 2.7, so I use that in the command line. Uh, I think Python 3.x, I think that's like the belly testing version, like it's not the stable release. So it all depends. And then you start the black bot using this really easy command. And you can cancel it and reset the settings by typing that in and then space reset. So looking down here, this is where you put your private key. You go to the Waze platform uh, and you can find your private key from there. This tells you how long the order is going to live for. I've never fiddled around with that. 
because I just cancel it myself the next day. Uh, so this is the import is very important. The market, the amount asset is the is the asset you're trading. The price asset is what it's being priced in. So this setting is trading waves with Bitcoin. So the asset we're trading is waves and the price is set in Bitcoin. Okay? So if you're going waves against dollars, which I strongly do not advise because you'll lose money, uh, it's waves and then you find the ID for dollars. And so how do you find the asset ID? Uh, it's up here. That's how you find the asset ID. You, you find it here. in the when, you, when you're looking at the waves platform uh, in the browser, you can find it up here in the URL. Um, now, if you're trading, an, however, most assets on the Waves platform, the price asset is going to be set to Waves, and you put the assets ID here at amount assets equal to ID because it's the other way around. In this scenario, we're trading Waves against Bitcoin, but most of the time we're trading assets against Waves. So just be mindful of that. So if you're using the Waves Community Token, you need the ID here for the Waves Community Token, and then Waves goes there. Tron size. Uh, I believe this is, the, this, is, this, is, this, this is something that took me a few days to get my head around a little bit. I found it a little bit confusing for me, and if you get the Tron, if you, you need to get the Tron size right to make profit. So if you're trading Waves, in this in this case, waves against the asset of uh, against against Bitcoin, and you have a hundred waves. Um, one waves has a tron size of one million. So you so over your overall tron size would be a hundred million, <clears throat> and then you need to take into account that the grid splits it up into. <clears throat> nine trades so you divide so you get your calculator out and you divide um, that by uh, nine to get the trance size assuming you want to trade all your assets <clears throat> so if you're looking at an asset uh, that's just a wave back token you need to see how many decimal places there are that is going to determine your tron size. So basically, you, you look at how much of the assets you have and just mentally remove the the the, <clears throat> the, the decimal place. So it's all just one big number, and then you divide by nine. Um, here they give uh, different uh different options to have your base price so uh, so when it's making the grid it has a base price i've only had last work uh where i use ask or bid um it didn't work for me so there you go so that's so two most important things here you know then obviously having your private key getting this right that's the asset you're trading against what you buy it in uh, and getting the tron size right right and then you can change, I guess, the grid levels and intervals. But I've not done that yet. So, uh, so I'm gonna look at some assets here on, um, on here, and and how would I predict profitability? Um, and the problem with using the asset using the black bot for waves versus Bitcoin is that if the price suddenly goes up and you sell your your waves for Bitcoin you lose your waves uh, that's really not ideal and so I wouldn't recommend so basically don't use the black bot on assets that have a high volume you want to use it on assets to have a low volume so the waste community tokens uh, it will work most days 
then again it does have days where it shoots up like here and has days where it goes down like here so um for me i was using it on the waste community token and i was getting roughly two and a half percent every day two and a half percent if you say to me i'll guarantee you two and a half percent profit every day i'd say yeah that's all right man that's like uh Two and a half percent profit every day is doubling my profit over a month. So sweet. Um. So. So if the so if the price of the asset rises all of a sudden, that's a pain in the ass because you just lost your asset. And if it goes down, well, I mean, if you like the asset anyway, um, then obviously you're used to things going up and down. So the only problem. So the only problem in these kind of assets is that. Look, it's uh, clearly going to be going up all the time, so it's going to be a pain. But however, if you just want to make profit every day, and all you care about is increasing the amount of ways you have, because, uh, you know, even though there are lots of assets on the waves platform that you can buy and double your waves in a week, seriously, that is totally possible. Uh, you can look at some assets... That will be because because I was trading yesterday. I was using Blackbot. Yeah, I don't use the Blackbot on all of my assets. Uh, I do it. I, no, I don't even do it half and half. I just like some of them I use the Blackbot, uh, and the ones that I kind of want to hold for a long time. I, I don't use the Blackbot because I don't want to lose my assets. Um. But I, I made a twenty percent gain yesterday because the asset that I was trading. Oh, it was going up and down every hour, right? So if it goes up and sells everything, goes down again, it buys everything. It goes like if it, yeah, it was like a twenty percent gain in one day. I was like, I'm going like, even if it was risky, that could go up all of a sudden and I lose the asset, I won't really care if I'm making a twenty percent gain every day. Uh, so we, uh, so if it waves go, let's see this one. Like this one would be okay, like you would make a profit every day. I'll give you an example, if you're just going to look at an asset and you're like, all I want to do is increase my waves. I don't care about the waves assets. Uh, this one would, would probably make you profit like you know, for a week and then it might shoot up and you'd lose that opportunity. But it's okay, you just move to another one. Um, Bitcoin Cash against Waves would also be pretty good. I think that's Coffee Token. Slowly rising, would still be good enough. I mean, a lot of the, the you know, liquid, you know, I mean, so if you're doing it here, so for example, with the liquid, if you're using here, you'd be making profit of it, boom, so all of a sudden you lose your asset when it shoots up. Um, so yeah, that's the deal with that, um, I hope you understand what the hell I was saying <laughs> about picking the right asset, if it's an asset you believe is going to go up uh, over the next month then don't use the black bot because you're going to lose your asset when, when as soon as it shoots up. If all you want to do is to increase the amount of waves you have, then find an asset that is just shooting up and down. What's that one? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you can you can just you you can use this just to. Uh, you, you can use this just to increase your amount of waves. You can, so I, I really hope I really don't want people to lose money using this because uh, some people are giving bad advice using this. They say, "Oh, it's not important to make a profit. The you know, the important thing is adds liquidity to the platform." What I think is BS because if people are just trading and not gaining a profit, then they're spending. Fees and sure, I personally make a profit when people waste their money, but I don't want people to lose their money. Uh, I think it's really narrow-minded. I've seen some people say, "Oh, no, profit's not important." No, profit's super important. I've got bills to pay. I've got food to eat. I've got rent. I want to go on holidays. I want to have a good lifestyle. I want to make a profit. Like, 
we we can you know we can use this to make even if it's a small profit it's good so we make a small profit and this liquidity gets added to the exchange and we make a profit um, so the reason why there's some people here that are discouraging making a profit on this because if you waste your money on the fees then the people running the wave nodes uh, make a gain sorry guys I had to blow the lid on that conspiracy but if you look at some of the wave forums you will see people saying oh profit's not not the main thing oh, blah, 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 blah. and they just anyway uh, I'm feeling very well today, but I hope this video is clear. I hope you can understand the importance of, of of setting the amount assets and price assets right and how to calculate the tranche size. Uh, I had difficulties with that, and I hope this video made it clear, and I hope you can make at least a 2% profit in a day using the black bot. Live free or die trying.